द फर्स्ट थ्री मंत्र ऑफ दैशोपनिषद simply gives us some guidance on what should be one of the ideal way of living so that you can come into calmness so that your life is peaceful so that you can find your own peace and happiness the simple guidelines can be summed up as god can be seen in all and everything the materialistic things which are available are only for pleasure getting attached to them are doors to hell greed to live a better life is no less a greed than to be greedy of someone else's property all objects which provide happiness are to be seen as provided by the creation there is no need to find faults in them looking for faults in them is nothing but complaining to god without expecting results all the time about your work simply accept all results as it is work without expecting results if this happens then there is bound to come peace then greed will have no place in your life then life becomes free of bondage this is called living without burden live with the truth that everything is the will of god and if this is true then man has hardly any control this will bring in the kindness the compassion within you for all then whatever will be spoken and done will have the divine music living such a life is called being in sanyas living like a sanyasi this is a life of a higher living for this to happen sadhana meaning meditation is required without it such living is not possible just sermons will not help o 
only then you can become a sadhu. The Ishapanishad has profound meaning. It talks about how to live a life of detachment. Even with enjoying the pleasure, even with enjoying the objects of this world, Living such a life is completely possible. It talks that sin is derived out of your jealousy and your selfishness. It is your seed of trouble. It says that man can perform all his deeds without living such a life. And those who remain attached are the ones who fear death. Because for them, each and every minute of their life is full of attachment. They cannot tolerate any kind of suppression and separating from life, which is death in a way, ultimately becomes painful for them. Death is nothing but an changing phenomena. It is part of your birth. It is part of the program of the creation. There is nothing to fear about it. For such people, the thought of death becomes more fearful than the death itself. You have to understand that. No one has ever lived to experience death. No one has ever lived to know what happens after death. But still there is so much fear of death. The reason is nothing but greed. Death is inevitable. It has to happen. That is why it occurs. Birth and death are necessary for every life. The other teaching of the Isha Upanishad is let there be no greed in the path of sadhana. And in the ordinary life, People blame their destiny. They blame God for all wrong happenings in their life. But it is only in meditation. When you reach your inner peace, you realize that all is the way it is. Nothing and nobody is to be blamed. Simple greed is the reason for all troubles. 
it brings in the restlessness, it destroys peace. A true seeker of the truth has to remain in detachment while living every moment of life. This is the crux of the Ishapanishad, verse number two and verse number three.